Hey everybody, my name is Wyatt and I'm Furtatoons and today we are reacting, diving into the brand new, the second album from Rina Sawayama, Hold the Girl. Now if you don't know, Rina Sawayama was actually the first artist I ever did a diving in for. She started the series and it was actually a banger. Check out those thumbnails, like I mean... <laughs> I mean, and for those early memories, I cherish her. I still love her music, that EP and the album that I covered. Crazy, still bump them quite a bit. Been bumping them a lot leading up to this album. Been bumping the singles quite a lot. Have some mixed feelings on one, two maybe of them. But the title track and the first single she dropped, This Hell, oh... Mm. I, I love him to death. I love him to death. I'm so excited. I have very high hopes. I'm expecting greatness. Like, she hasn't really missed too much for me at all, really. I'm so excited. I'm, like, nervous. I don't know why. I'm... Uh... I can't lie. I don't I don't love the cover art. I, I thought all of the artwork for the singles were so much better like so much cooler than I don't know what this is. Other than that, we're diving in. First track, Minor Feelings and then the singles. I'm about to go crazy. Oh my god, yo. Ah! 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 ah shit! Okay, yo, that was crazy. Wow, that intro sounded amazing. I just have to say, like, she is easily, like, one of my favorite vocalists, period, out right now. But it's insane how fucking strong her voice is but like has gotten like on the singles and i remember uh when she did the chosen family like the remix with elton john maybe i was tripping but she sounded just a whole lot better than the already amazing original cut on the album her voice is oh my god it's god tier <laughs> And she fucking proves it already. First two tracks just sweeps the floor. So yeah, I've heard this song a bunch of times. Maybe my favorite single. Woo! Oh my god, this shit is so good. Like, yo, come on. Holy fuck, the way that transitions into the verse. Ah! This is like, like pop perfection, no? I, I like. <laughs> Dude, like. This might be her best song, straight up. Like, that's how it's sounding like right now. <laughs> chills, I have chills all over. This is such a banger. Like this, the two, all the singles, these two are easily tied for the best for me. And they're so different, like a... I love to, ah, oh, it's such a, like, 2000s. It's so fire! Like, it's so good!
Yo, this shit is just so fucking fun. It's liberating. This shit fucking oh. And even on such a fun banger, she gets those notes off and just flexes the ungodly voice. Such a banger. Such a banger. Like, if you're a 90s, 2000s kid, I don't know how you're not, like, going crazy over this. Yo. Right there, does she, she straight sounds like Ariana Grande on that note. Like, what the? Girl! Woo! Like, shit, bro. That single is, like, as good as, like, excess. Maybe better to me. God damn, that shit grew on me so far, too. Like, I... I wow. This one, like, I, I like it. I'm just not, like, crazy about it. I think it's good, though. Like, it's cute. Like, this shit, bro. <laughs> this guitar took me out. It's still that, like, 2000s feel, but, like, a different, you know, feel. Like, this one feels a little too, like, Disney Channel for me. I love a great Disney soundtrack, like, you know, but it sounds fucking gorgeous, though. Like, it still has just enough soul as the other tracks, you know? Still very liberating, still just has that uplifting feel. How can I hate? I feel like she's really like going back to like the EP when it was like that throwback sound but such a modernized version of it where this song is very much like a throwback like this sounds like you know a lot of that I, I don't know what to just like kind of pop like acoustic pop that a lot of the girls were singing in 2000s but like would I say she nailed that sound like yeah absolutely yeah like this is like still growing on me but um yeah I'm not crazy about it I definitely like it though, it's really good. I just think it could have been better, it could have been tighter, it could have been stronger, it could have been holy shit, you know? But it's just right about there, like, it's just great. Like that, that part is beautiful. I don't know why it fades out, like that's kind of an L, but that last 30, whew, that shit is beautiful. Forgiveness. Yeah, you can't just be doing that. Oh. Wow. Yeah, yo. Okay. Like, wow. Yo. Like, we stepped it the fuck back up. Wow, this is good. Yo, like, she... She came to slay the girls and stomp on my neck. <laughs> Not the transitions! Oh my god, baby! Holy shit, yo, like... Yo. Like, these are some of her biggest sounding songs yet. Like, these are, these sound huge. Dude, like this is so fucking fun. So big and I keep saying like uplifting and like, just feel like this, these, this music pushes negative energy away. That's just, that's what it feels like. Okay. Holy shit, like this is the bass on this, on a lot of these tracks. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. Oh! Yo! Oh, wow. Hey. Okay. Yo, I'm really fucking with this. 
Yo, this is sick. Yo. Dude. This is so sick. Okay. Yo, yo, hey, she's really, yo, like, the production on every single track on this so far is phenomenal. Let's get that out of the way. Like, yo, snapping. Word. Woo! Okay, I can't lie, Hurricanes was definitely my least favorite single, but I also only listened to it like, once or twice. Fresh ears, let's go, I I'm open like a book. This is already sounding great, I can't lie. Yo, okay. So, yeah. I like this. I, I definitely like this. This is the same as like Catch Me in the Air kind of feel to me. Not the kind of like, you know, late 2000s stuff that I love, but she's killing this sound. And it's, again, everything sounds great. I can't be mad at this. I even, I think I enjoy it more than Catch Me in the Air, maybe. I, I like the hook better, for sure. Yes, y'all, like it's so, it's so big and, ah. Oh. Like that's the shit right there. That, win that wins the whole track. Send my love to, who's John? Very interesting, very heartfelt. So nice. Oh, this was a killer single. Yeah, this one was great. Oh, yeah. No, this one's great. I wanna do this without you. This gives me like Elton John vibes in the songwriting. I mean, I guess a lot of her music kind of does, but I don't know why. I really can't put my finger on that one. I mean, I hear like Elton John in a lot of songwriting, but you know what I mean? Shout out Bernie. Come on, like, come on. Come on. Come on. How can I not love it? Even if the last song isn't like a big, huge grand finale, like this is giving that. Like, so, just such soulful, huge. Oh my god, I need to. Oh. Y'all know I love a good song like this. Oh my god! Oh yes. Oh my god, I love this. This is gorgeous. Like I... The fade out though, why the fade out? That song didn't deserve a fade out, or it shouldn't have had one. But wow, what a fucking outro. Oh my god, y'all know I'm, I am I love those type of songs with just, just that theme. Oh my god, I love that. Uh, wow. That was a great fucking album. Oh my god, just song after song, either banger or euphoria, insane. Just some of the most freeing and big and like just liberating pop music. Like, I. I've heard in a while, like, it felt like she just put her whole fucking life into this one. Like, this is really, like, lots of very powerful stuff. And, again, just so uplifting and fun and... Uh, 
she nailed that sound, you know, all over the place a bit, but holy shit. And that feeling, like, she nailed that feeling. Some just, like, soulful pop music. Again, like, just so powerful. Wow, she really fucking, uh, she, she impressed me, even. And, wow, I had pretty high expectations, I can't lie. I'm so happy with that. I don't think I'm gonna wade into a full-blown diving in like I think like even though there's a lot to unpack in these tracks sound wise Especially there's a lot of layers. It feels like the majority of it clicked for me on first listen Which didn't happen for almost any of the singles except the title track That was the one that I knew I loved on first listen But all the others I was kind of like they just kind of breezed by me and then the more I listened to them I was like, okay, these are really good But something just pulled me in here and the bigger picture picture was just made so clear especially with phantom and uh to be alive those last two tracks just tied everything together beautifully catch me in the air and to be alive i ah uh, you know i think sometimes a fade out like that works in some songs especially like dance songs but i really don't think they worked there and they just kind of like oh like we're just getting to like the best part or like we're just experiencing the most euphoric part and it still feels like it's going strong and then it just starts kind of disappearing and you're like all right like cool but shit that's like my only major complaint about pretty much anything on this album i will say frankenstein and your age um i'm sure they'll grow on me they definitely like blew me away in sound but the songs themselves didn't really hit me right away but that happens hey either way stream hold the girl oh she deserves it wow i'm fucking floored really like i i think i like this like just as much as the last album and we'll see i could see it growing like i just love how big everything sounds and it's so liberating i keep using that word but god damn thank you so much for watching again if you want to see my in-depth thoughts on the sawayama album as well as her debut ep the links will be in the description my first ever diving in this was like two years ago so you know your boy wasn't i mean i'm not sick with the editing yet but you know i i don't know how those videos are yo it's been a minute <laughs> anyways go check them out support your boy i will get the full blown unedited first reaction for this video up on patreon as soon as possible check the description it'll be there or it won't be there yet but y'all stay tuned subscribe to do that Join the Discord down below. Support me on Patreon, I, your boy. And, uh, you know, just thank you so much for watching. This this feels like a very cool, you know, coming full circle moment. Like, I was listening to the Rena EP and Sawayama again today and leading up to this this week. And I was just feeling so nostalgic. I was like, damn, I remember, like, listening to this after do filming the first reaction. And I was, like, about to start writing the diving in part. And that was, like, the first video I ever did on it. So, you know. The Rena EP especially, that really like brings me back, like, whoa, like some, some very cool feelings. Thank you so much again. Join the Discord, come talk to some cool people with some cool music. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff in the description. Much love, subscribe to stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one.